Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His, his sufferings are remembered, our, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which, which is, is to be ours. ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise our petitions, petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. Who are the glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, 
May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is trapped incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, and the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Wednesday in the third week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its people. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place, the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who is not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor? Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Who is the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Please be seated. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. 
Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great, and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Here you are far off what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my might. On Zion, sinners are in dread, trembling grips and impious. Who of us can live with a consuming fire? Who of us can live with everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurns what is gained by oppression, brushing hands free of contact with a bribe, stopping his ears lest he hear of bloodshed, closing his eyes lest he look on evil. He shall dwell in the heights, his stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. Sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm has wrought salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the earth, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice, and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. 
For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the Designer and Maker of the earth, who establish it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it that I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God, there is no just and saving God but me? Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power, before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another? When the man came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. The poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offenses at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa lumang tipan po, mababasa natin na bago darating ang Mesiyas, ang tagapagligtas, ay meron munang propeta na namaghahanda ng kanyang dadaanan. 
Sabi sa aklat ni Propeta Isaías, chapter 40, verses 3 to 4, ang propetang ito ang siyang sisigaw, ihanda sa ilang ang daan ng Panginoon, patagin ang lansangan para sa ating Diyos. Bago darating ang Mesiyas, merong propeta na magsasabing, maghanda. At ang propeta nito ay sa katauhan ni Juan Bautista. Kaya nga ikinumpara ni Jesus si Juan Bautista kay Elijah. Dahil pareho silang nangaral upang talikuran ng kasalanan at magbalik loob sa Diyos. Kaya sinabi pa ni Jesus na siya ang pinakadakilang propeta sa kanilang panahon. At sino pa ba si Juan Bautista? Siya ang nagbinyag kay Jesus. Pero sinabi niya, The one who is coming is greater than I, and I am not worthy to untie the thongs of his sandals. He must decrease, he must increase, and I must decrease. At dahil sa pangangaral ni Juan Bautista, siya po ay nakulong. At sa ating ibanghelyong binasa, ngayon po si Juan Bautista ay nakakulong na. Kaya nga po nagpadala lamang siya ng kanyang alagad kay Yesus para panunin kung siya ba ang misaya o maghahanap pa kami ng iba. Nakakulong siya dahil sa kanyang pagpapahayag na tumalikod sa kasalanan at gawin ang tama. Kaya sa loob ng kulungan, ang dami niyang narinig patungkol kay Jesus. Na si Jesus ay nakikipag-inuman, kumakain kasama ang mga makasalanan, ang mga tax collectors. Alam niya na si Jesus ang Mesiyas. Pero naririnig niya habang siya ay nasa kulungan, na bakit hindi yon ang misiyas na kanyang hinahanda na darating? Kaya sa panahon na si Juan Bautista ay nasa loob ng kulungan, siya ay nagduda. Siya ay naguluhan. Hindi ata ito ang misiyas na paparating. Bakit yon ang kanyang ginagawa? Naguluhan siya kung si Yesus ba talaga ang Mesiyas o maghahanap ng iba. Siya ba talaga ang manunubos, ang tagapagligtas? Siya ba ang kanilang pinagdasal? Kaya nang hina, nang tiwala at pananalig kay Yesus para bang gumuho ang lahat ng pag-asa ni Juan Bautista para kay Jesus. Alam niyo po, may mga panahon po talaga sa atin na parang ang layo ng Diyos sa atin. It seems God is not with us. Parang ang Diyos hindi nagiging Diyos. Bakit? Ang daming hiling natin na parang hindi tinutugon. Ang daming dasal natin na parang hindi pinapakinggan. Ang daming ganap na gusto nating mangyari, pero hindi dumating. Ilang beses na po kayong pumunta dito sa dambana ng mahal na ina na Apo Baket? Lahat po ba ng inyong pinagdasal, ng inyong hiningi, natanggap na? Parang ang layo ng Diyos sa mga panahon yun. At dahil doon, anong nangyayari sa atin? We doubt. We doubt. Like John the Baptist, inside his prison, he doubted Jesus. Is he truly the Messiah? Or we have to seek for another? Tahihin po ba? Sa mga panahon na hindi binibigay 
o hindi dinidinig ng Diyos ang ating panalangin, tayo rin po ay nagdududa. We doubt. Nagdududa ka. Kahit na sa inyong mga relasyon, sa pamilya, mahal pa ba ako ng asawa ko? Bakit mas hinahaplos pa niya ang kanyang manok kaysa sa akin? Mahal pa ba ako ng mga anak ko? Bakit mas marami pa silang panahon sa mga kaibigan nila kaysa sa akin na kanilang ina, na kanilang nanay? Bakit hindi dumadating ang magandang oportunidad sa akin? Bakit hanggang ngayon ang hirap-hirap pa rin ng buhay ko? Alam niyo po, ang pagdududa ay mas lalong lumalago sa dilim. Si Juan Bautista ay nasa madilim na kulungan, kaya labis siyang naguluhan at nagduda kay Yesus dahil hindi niya ito nakikita. Ang nalalaman na lang niya ay yung mga balita na galing sa labas na naririnig niya sa loob. Kayo po ba, mas lalo po tayong magdududa kung hindi natin nakita ang totoo. Kung hindi mo nakita na talagang niloloko ka o talagang minamahal ka ba dahil ang nakikita at naririnig lang natin ay galing sa ibang tao. Galing sa kanya, narinig ko. Ganito lang ito. At anong nangyayari? Mas lalo tayong nagdududa. Mas lalo tayong naguguluhan. Mas lalo tayong napapalayo. Pero alam niyo po, kung tayo man ay magdududa, kung tayo man ay naguguluhan, kung tayo man ay nahihirapan, ang wag po sana natin gawin ay tumalikod sa Diyos at patuloy na magduda, patuloy na maniwala sa hindi natin nakikita. Sa sinasabi lang ng iba, bakit? Dahil anong ginawa ni Juan Bautista nung siya ay nagduda? He sent two of his disciples to reach out to Jesus. He sent two of his disciples to confirm and ask Jesus, Ikaw ba ang misaya, ang aming hinihintay o maghahanap kami ng iba? Alam niyo po, hindi po yun direktahang sinagot ni Jesus. Bagkos, anong ginawa ni Jesus noong mga panahong yun na dumating ang mga disipulos ni Juan Bautista sa kanya? Siya ay nagpapagaling ng mga bulag, ng mga bingi, ng mga kitongin. At anong sinabi niya? Nasasabihin ng mga alagad kay, His, kay San Juan Bautista, Sabihin ninyo kay Juan, ang inyong mga nakita at narinig. Ang mga bulag ay nakakita. Ang mga pilay ay nakapaglakad. Ang mga kitongin ay nalinis. Ang mga bingi nakarinig. Ang mga patay ay binuhay at ang mga dukha ay pinarangal ang mabuting balita. Nung sinabi yon ng mga alagad kay Juan Bautista, bigla niyang naalala kung anong nakasulat sa aklat ni Profeta Isaias. Nakapag dumating ang Mesiyas sa aklat ni Profeta Isaias, Kapitulo 35, Versikulo 4 hanggang sa is, With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall see, the ears of the deaf be opened, the lame shall leap like a stag, and the mute tongue sing for joy. Nung naalala ni Juan Bautista, na kapag dumating ang Mesiyas, magpapagaling siya ng mga may sakit, makakakita ang bulag, makakarinig ang mga bingi, makakapagsalita ang tipi, 
na yun ang ginawa ni Jesus, nawala ang kanyang pagdududa. Totoo nga, si Jesus ang hinihintay nating Mesiyas. Dahil He fulfilled what is written in the Scriptures. Kaya ang hamon sa atin siguro, sa panahon tayo yung nagdududa, kanino ba tayo pupunta? Saan natin hahanapin ang sagot? Kapag tayo nasa dilim, mas lalo tayong magdududa, hindi natin makikita ang sagot. Kaya tinuturo sa atin ni Juan Bautista sa araw na ito, sa ating Ibanghelyo, pumunta kay Jesus. Kahit sa pangapanahong nagdududa ka, magdasal ka, lumuod ka, manahimik ka, and turn to Jesus. Because Jesus is the light of In our darkness, He is the light in our clouded mind. And when we turn to Jesus, we will see that He is doing His promise of mercy for you, for you, for you, and for me. Hindi nagpapabayang Diyos. sa panahong nagdududa ka, the more we should turn and reach out to Jesus. Please stand. We offer our prayers with one heart and mind to the Father who not only forgives sin but also heals the wounds caused by sin. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That a church may be a sign of God's mercy, pardon, and forgiveness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have drifted away from the church through sin may discover the forgiveness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. That the families who are divided and estranged from one another may be brought together by God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick may receive comfort and hope through our prayers and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, friends, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims, of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord that those who have died may enjoy the light of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. God our Father, help us bring your pardon, forgiveness, and peace to those we meet. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate with the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Pinagpalang kapadirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kalitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kalitasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he broke bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now went forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for elections. Let us pray for the forthcoming national election and local election. May truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nation. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear our prayer. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, Lord. The conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbor may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us. A call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Be comforted, my people. Be comforted, says the Lord your God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those that dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be comforted, my people. Be comforted, says the Lord your God. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these candles, rosaries, oils, and other religious articles 
be blessed and be made holy in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen